Everybody remembers those combination padlocks you had in high school and you had to spin them left and spin them right and spin them left in order to get them to open. Safe dial locks are very much the same way. But why is that? We're gonna show you how they work and why they work the way they work. I'm Robert, you're watching Locksmith Recommended. Even though we're demoing this on a three digit dial, safe dial, this process is almost exactly as it is in any dial combination lock. When you're trying to dial in a combination lock, you're trying to get this bolt to retract. Normally that bolt is in the out position and in that out position, you're locking up the mechanical linkage in the door so that the door bolts do not retract. So everything in your door is being held in place by this bolt right here. And when you dial in your combination correctly and give it that last turn, pull this bolt in so that you free up everything in the door and the safe door can open. Inside of this lock body, you have several pieces. First, you have the cam. The cam is attached to the spindle. So behind every dial, you have a spindle. The cam actually gets attached to that. So every time you turn the dial, this cam is also going to rotate. Pressing against the cam, this lever just basically rides along the cam. This little piece here on the lever is called the nose. And the goal is to have that nose drop into this notch on the cam so that this linkage when turned will pull the bolt back. Now behind the cam are three wheels. The wheel that is actually closest to the face of the safe. This wheel here is wheel number one, then wheel two and wheel three. Those wheel numbers correspond to the digit of your combination. So this is the first digit, the second digit, and the third digit. The wheel that we're looking at here, because we're going in from the lock body, is the third wheel of the safe dial corresponding to the third digit in the combination. Now each wheel has a cutout in it. So you can see the cutout of wheel three right here. And if I pull this out, you should be able to see it much more clearly in the wheel that I've removed. Now the goal here when you're dialing in a safe combination is to get all these notches lined up. These notches are called gates. So that on that lever, this little piece of metal right here, which is called the fence, will actually drop into all of the open gates so that when you come back around, the nose on your lever drops into this cam and you can pull the bolt open. Give you a little bit better look here. This is a lever that we've pulled out. This is the fence. So what we're trying to do is get the fence to fall in and it'll fall in as soon as this notch lines up with the nose after my combination has been dialed in. How does turning the dial line up all of these gates for the fence? Well, that's, that's the cool bit. That's where the magic happens. Let's see how that works. Let's take a look at the cam up close. You can see here that my cam has this tab built into it. And recall, the cam spins every time you spin the dial. If you look at wheel three, you'll see that it also has a tab on it. And these two are together. The cam is free to spin 360 degrees until the tabs meet. And as soon as the tabs meet, boom, the wheels are locked together and they spin it together. We call this picking up the wheel. The wheel also has a tab on the other side, and so does the wheel next to it that you can see. That's how they're interlinked together. Every time the tabs come in contact, the wheel will start to spin. Let me reset this combination, and I'll land on my first number. Now I start to turn the other direction. My cam spins. It'll go 360 degrees until the tabs meet. And once the tabs meet, I pick up that third wheel and the third wheel will spin 360 degrees until it meets the tab on wheel two. And I've picked up wheel two. And now I'm going to stop on the second digit of my combination. I reverse directions again. I have a free spinning cam. It will meet the tab on wheel three, the pickup wheel three, and I can stop on the third digit of my combination. And then to open the safe, we go back so that the nose drops into the notch on the cam, 
and then I am free to open the bolt of the safe. I have to push this down in order to pull the bolt back. And why is that? This is actually a spring-loaded relocker. Now, when this is installed in your safe, you have a back plate on this, and that back plate pushes this lever down so that this little piece of metal stays clear of the bolt and you can pull the bolt back. You'll see that there's actually a groove in the bolt. Should somebody come and try to punch this out and punch this into the safe and start beating on it, this back panel is designed to break in a very specific way that releases this lever. So when it is extended and this panel pops off because somebody's beating on it, listen to this, snap. Okay, what happens is that'll snap into that groove because that panel is no longer holding that in that down position free and clear. But now there's no getting into that safe. That's the whole purpose of this relocker. If you like this video, please hit the like button, smash the bell icon so you'll get notified every time we have new videos released. I'm Robert, you've been watching Locksmith Recommended.